Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Zero Work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the building block record date and limit the number of actions that your taskboard is taking per day. In the previous video, I showed you how to limit the number of actions per run, but that still did not ensure that you are limiting your daily limit that a platform may be imposing. In other words, if you run your taskboard in the morning and then in the evening, you may want to ensure that there is a total limit for that day that your taskboard never exceeds. So this video shows how to do that. So here's the taskboard that we've built over uh, the last video. This is where we uh, added a variable counter here. And this counter is increased on every loop iteration whenever the taskboard is visiting a profile and perform some actions there. So here I'm going to add two more variables. One is going to be last run date. So we're going to record the date on every taskboard run. And then I'm also going to add a variable called today. And that's going to be a date that uh, taskboard is going to record on every taskboard run start. And then we'll compare the last run date and today's date to see if they match or not. In other words, if the taskboard um, is doing another run on the same day or not. First, uh, in the previous taskboard, we set the counter to zero on every taskboard run start. And um, then we use some condition-based logic to check whether the counter um, exceeded or not. Here, I'm going to add additional logic. I'm going to first add after repeat. So after all the profiles were visited and the actions were taken, then I'm going to update the variable called last run date with the whole date of today. Today in that sense just means that it is the day on which the taskboard runs and inserts that date into the variable or data table. So that's going to be our last run date. So to, um, to sum up, after taskboard visited all these profiles after this loop, it's going to go ahead and update that variable with, the, uh, with today's date. At the same time, whenever taskboard starts its run, so at the very beginning of it, we're also going to record a date into the variable called today. Now we need to compare the last run state with the date that taskboard records at the start of its run. So let's add a condition. Start condition is going to reference to the variables today and set condition is going to uh, check whether today's date equals the variable um, apologize, not today, but last run date, this one. Save. Now let's connect. So if it's equal to a last run date, then you know that the task board is running for another time on the same day. And that means we don't want to reset the counter back to zero. We just want our taskboard to continue running. But when do we actually reset the counter to zero? That's when the today's date does not equal the last run state. Because that means that the data or the date of the last run was not today, basically. So let's duplicate this set condition. Duplicate. Let's connect it. And instead of equal, does not equal. And let's connect it back to the main flow. Let's sum up. What's happening here? When taskboard starts its run, it's going to record today's date into the variable called today. Then it's going to compare today's date to the last run state. And if it's equal, it's going to continue so that all the counters are preserved. But if it doesn't equal, then it's going to set the counter, the profile counter, back to zero. Once the loop ends, the taskboard is always going to record the last run date with the date of the run. And that's how you can limit the number of actions per day.